are getting more visibility into the story we broke last night right here on this show on how Capitol Police caught Massachusetts Democrat Congressman Jake Ashenkoss's chief of staff, a guy named Tim Heisen, defacing and destroying Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's posters outside of her congressional office. I'm not making this up. This really went on. Um, this took months for the Capitol Police to solve. They finally got a camera, caught the guy doing it. They issued an arrest or made a request for an arrest warrant uh, to uh, charge Heisen with uh, a D.C. statute of defacing public or private property. And guess what, Amanda, the same U.S. attorney that prosecuted the Jeremy Six rioter as well, they, that office declined to bring charges against this chief of staff. And that staffer, believe it or not, remains in his job. Now, here to react to that news is the woman whose posters were defaced, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Congresswoman, great to have you on the show today. Thank you for having me tonight. You gave a very dramatic floor speech just a little bit ago to bring your colleagues up to date on what happened here. But I want to ask, this man still works in the building where you are. He's obviously shown a lot of attention your way and defaced your property. Are you going to take any other action to make sure that you feel safe in the, in the Capitol complex? Yes, absolutely. I have to, John, because they're not doing anything about this. The Department of Justice refuses to prosecute Tim Heisem, Jake Oshenkloss's chief of staff, even though he's been caught by Capitol Police, he's on camera, on video twice, attacking the sign, attacking my religion, attacking my gender, um, and attacking attacking my beliefs of, of you know, protecting gender and also the beliefs of my district. And so they refuse to prosecute him. Nancy Pelosi will not provide me with secu a security detail, even though they provide themselves with a security detail. So I have so many death threats. I don't know if one of these death threats are actually Tim Heisom. And I do not feel safe. I'm going to have to take out a restraining order against him uh, because I don't know if my life is threatened. So you'll be actually taking out, I just want to clarify, you're going to take out a restraining order, protective order to make sure that he stays a distance from you. Is that correct? Absolutely. I have no choice. I have to do whatever I can to protect myself because the Department of Justice doesn't believe in protecting me. Nancy Pelosi and Democrat leadership don't believe in protecting me. So I have no other choice but to do whatever I can do to protect myself and protect my staff because Tim Heisom works in Longworth, in my office building, only a few floors above me. And until recently, I didn't even know who this person was that was continuing to attack me for months and months on end. And all I know is he refuses to apologize. He's doubled down on what he has done. His boss, uh, Representative Jake Oshenkloss, refuses to fire him and no one is apologizing. So you know how the Democrats are. It's, re it's believe all women unless they're a Republican, protect all women unless they're a Republican, um, so I'm basically on my own with this, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect myself from this predator, Tim Heisem.